Today is the day. Do it now. If you need insurance under the Affordable Care Act, today is the last day that you can sign up, which is why we are trying to get as many of your questions answered as possible before that deadline passes. So right now I'm joined by Dr. Catherine Sevier. She's president of AARP North Carolina and co-chair of the North Carolina Serious Illness Coalition and Josh Peck with Get America Covered. Here's how you get your questions to them. You text us your questions to 336 379-5775. And this is text only, so don't call in. Text only. All right. Already we have several questions for you. Um, Okay. This first one says, if you want to keep the same health plan that you had last year, do you need to do anything today or will it automatically roll over? Josh? Technically, you don't. Technically, your plan will automatically renew. But we recommend that you do go back to healthcare.gov. Um, it'll remember all of your information from last year. So it's typically very quick to, to go back through that application. But importantly, you'll have a chance to update your income to see if there are new cheaper plans available or maybe a plan that better meets your family's needs this year. Typically, people who come back and renew their coverage save hundreds of dollars a year. So we definitely recommend that you, you do that to, before 3 a.m. Eastern time tonight. Mm-hmm. Okay, so 3 a.m. and that's to cover East Coast, West Coast and all of that jazz. Okay. Um, all right. So uh, Dr. Catherine Sevier, she not only can answer questions about uh, health care plans, but also uh, Medicare. And so this is one of those questions. It says, is Medicare and Medicaid the same thing? And do you enroll in both? No, they aren't. And no, you can't necessarily. Uh, Medicare is for people 65 and older or with some extenuating circumstances, like if the person had Lou Gehrig's disease or uh, kidney failure, um, so they could qualify or are disabled, they could qualify sooner. Medicaid is income-based and you have to be able to apply and show your income in order to qualify. And then there are other criteria based on um, age circumstances. So you have to make a separate application. Two different things there. And so um, Medicare for those over the age of 65, ACA healthcare plans for those under the age of 65. Is that correct, Josh? That's right. Between 18 and 65, Um, If you don't have a a plan through your employer, you're eligible for marketplace plans. All right. So this question says, is it true that we have to file taxes as married filing jointly, not separately, to qualify for lower insurance rates under the ACA? Um, Well, so it's going to depend on a person's individual situation. The, The way financial help is calculated is it's based on your tax returns. So um, in your family, if, if you're you know, an individual f- filing by your, yourself, your income will be used to determine the amount of financial help you get. And if you're, you're filing as part of a household, then your household income will be used to, to determine that. Okay. This uh, person says, and this is the deadline, today is it, December the 15th, and um, I had been saying midnight, but it's really 3 a.m. to account for all of the time zones there. Um, This person is asking, if I run into issues today trying to enroll, can you get an extension for enrollment? So there there aren't technically um, any extensions available unless there's some sort of very significant problem. However, um, if you call 1-800-318-2596 and you leave your phone number, uh, you'll be added to a list of people who will get a call back from the the call center uh, in the days to come. And that's because the call center is overwhelmed right now. Um, If you do that, you'll actually have a couple additional days to to sort of figure out what your what your plans are when for when they call you back. Um, But beyond that, unless you have a special life circumstance, you'll actually have to wait almost a full year before you'll be able to enroll again. Okay, and this might be a clarification. Um, Catherine, it's this person is asking who needs to enroll for Medicaid? Is it anyone 65 years old and older? So let's go uh, about that one more time. So everyone when they turn 65 needs to enroll in Medicare. That means that whether you're still working and have other insurance, you still need to enroll. Medicaid, you don't have to apply for ever unless you believe because of your income or circumstances such as disability 
that you might qualify for that. And at that point, what's important is to get some assistance from the Social Security Administration or from groups like SHIP here in North Carolina that can help you determine whether or not you should apply. All right, we're going to continue taking your text questions about ACA enrollment, which is ending today, and also Medicare as well. You can continue to text your questions. We'll be right back.